Oh, oh, oh. I think John's got okay, way too, no, way too much nothing, to nothing, to my, nothing to my mom, okay? <laughs> nothing to your mom! <laughs> Don't she, send it to your she's mom! She's on my Facebook page just to make everyone. <laughs> 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 Come to Florida, they said. It'll be sunny, they said. Questionable. Alright, in case you haven't figured it out, guys, we're going on a trip. What's up? I'm your favorite introvert here. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so we're gonna go on a trip. We're gonna go down to Florida. It's gonna be about a 10 hour drive. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go check out Quantum Systems UAVs. They're gonna do a demo day. They're gonna show us their top UAVs. They got the Tron and the Trinity. Uh, we are gonna uh, have some weather. Uh, hopefully it's gonna hold off so that we can get the demo days in and we can see the drones fly. Let's get on the road. strikes me odd about this vehicle. to the hotel and uh, it's currently about 3 a.m. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some sleep got a 7 o'clock wake up for a 9 a.m. show tomorrow and uh, right across the street we got the Wawa and the lens is probably fogging up because of humidity but that's okay We got a 9 o'clock show time in the morning, so I'm going to call it a night, going to get some rest, or as much as I can, wake up, eat some delightful breakfast, and head to the field. We'll see y'all in the morning. Breakfast time. We're day two. Take about 20 minutes to drive there uh, from the hotel to get to the airfield that the demo day is at. Took us 12 hours to travel down here. We are in Palm Bay, Florida. Hopefully we're gonna be able to see some uh, flight times from them. Those two systems, that'd be awesome. Uh, not sure how the weather's gonna hold up. It's looking all right for the morning, but we'll have to see about the afternoon and how it develops. Um, there's a lot of indoor activities going through the uh, Cubase ground control. Um, I think there's some other talks and then there's a meet and greet and uh, social time so uh, we should be able to be indoors for that but uh, they pushed the flights to early this morning like right when they start so 9 a.m. there should be putting up some birds which hopefully the weather will um, will hold up for that yeah so about that weather 
variable. Well, I found one fellow participant. I'm not sure if you can get a good drones. I think I think we found the spot. But it raining. <laughs> I'm super zoomed in. Sorry. Um, we have uh, Martin here, who's the uh, CSO for Quantum Systems, and I'm uh, Dale, who is in charge of setting up the US reseller network. Uh, today we are going to fly two drones. We are going to fly the Tron, which I think most everyone's pretty excited about. Mm -hmm. Flying with the Yellow Scan Surveyor Ultra. We'll have a data set that we collected yesterday. Uh, we'll fly it again here today, but then we'll just show you all the data that we already processed yesterday from the same exact same mission. Uh, we are also going to be flying a Trinity. We ask that you, uh, uh, you can take pictures and video and stuff, but we ask that you do not share that until after the 15th of September, where it is really officially released at Intergeo. It's um, only the Trinity. The, you the, can the share the is fine, the but just, uh, um, and, and I suppose if you have some far off shots from the, the Trinity, you can uh, uh, share the pictures. Don't, don't mention uh, we'd ask that. Uh, Martin is going to kind of go over uh, a small presentation uh, before we head out to the field. When we go to head out to the field, we're going to try to uh, carpool as many in the cargoes, and then we'll uh, follow this guy here in a big uh, dually um, out to the airfield because we have to cross the actual uh, runway. And then uh, we'll fly the Trinity and the Tron out there and uh, answer any questions along the way. Sweet. Good. While you watch this guy, he's doing some assembly to do the wings. Uh, post processing on this drone here on the Trinity, there's a flight log that you have to download right to the PC direct uh, from a USB cable. This is the new F9 drone with the new motors. They are much more powerful than the old ones. And so your power source would sit right where your hand is yep. on both. Do you have yep. a third one for the sensor as well? No. It, uh, well, there's enough power. It's self-contained. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends on the sensor. Well, but, the but lighter the camera has its own, its own power own. source inside. Okay, mm. that's what, that's it's what. just a triggering that's on the camera. The lighter good is self-contained. If, a, if a lighter comes with their own power source because of any in, uh, interference things, okay. uh, yeah. we've seen uh, so much trouble with engine batteries yeah. going so to a sensor. Have it isolated. Got it. So then, when it's, if you lose one power source, you still have survivability. Yeah, it's what's redundant. the if one goes down that this is still going to land safely is what yeah. the question was. The batteries are redundant. Okay. They are redundant, okay. Very yeah. Good. So Martin, I'll let you I packed one in and it's already working. working. Okay. okay. I'm having you do your own screws. I'm yeah. not going to, yeah, yeah. we're not do, two teaming this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that way you know they're where you need them. Even if you would have done it, uh, I checked them before. Yeah. So technically, gets a 10-minute setup. In the batteries, it's on. The yellow scan or the Tron? No, the Tron itself. Okay. The yellow scan is independently powered. Here with the batteries. This is the battery for the Tron. For the for the oh, light. Energy, sorry. Okay. <laughs> So now we can put in the batteries. <laughs> Carrying 20 pounds of lipo bags. Dude, I don't even want to talk about that. Um, we have to switch it on and we wait until it's on a GPS fix. And then we started with the yellow design. bottom. So the slogan of yellow scan is it's the only yellow bottom to operate it. There's one button on the entire unit. You press it, it starts locking. You repress it, it stops locking. That's all. <laughs> And then it's the bottom to switch it off. So there's nothing to configure it. 
to uh, mess around. It's just uh, like a typical recorder. Lo record, stop recording, done. Is All the rest is done in the, in the, um, uh, on the data processing part afterwards. So I switch it on. The antenna is out and then I just go a, a few meters away. I let it sit for a few minutes okay. or a minute. That the upper, there are a couple of LEDs. Only the upper one is interesting. If this is solid green, we are good to go. Okay. I press it one time, it starts blinking. That means it's logging. After landing, I repress it, it stops blinking. Hmm. About a lighter. It's a 32 beam lighter, 16 to the front, 16 to the back. They are all scanning left, right on a 180 degree at the moment for this aircraft. And uh, we are doing 600 points per second. That gives us a brief flight check. And here you can see in brief flight check, uh, we also move the motors like forward. So the motors are moved too, not only the uh, control surfaces. Hmm. It's really quiet. Flight. Is this running the same plan uh, route earlier, same program? <laughs> you can follow that one a little better in the sky. Right. <laughs> yeah. But when it's up in the sky, you don't hear it. You know, it's just mm -hmm. that initial. <laughs> We get them in on training and programs, and then we get them in on product sales, so they know what they want. But then what ends up happening is so we got to say, well, what we're going to do is we're going to start with package B instead of. I was gonna say, is this YouTube money right here or oh, what? This is drone money. Drone, drone money, money, yeah. This is drone money. This is, I had a. So, for those interested, for those interested in getting in the drone life, <laughs> this fine. All real it's estate for drone base. Sign yeah. up for drone base, droners IO, and do all the real estate. You'll have a cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Use all the great platforms like Drone Deploy. Hey, yo, yo, wait, wait a second. The hangar just partnered up wait, with drone. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. And watch the Light Sport Man. Who needs to subscribe oh, to Light Sport Man? Light Sport. Light Sport. Light Sport. Light Sport. Beginning after takeoff, we have been flying a two time uh, kind of a U turn to calibrate our IMU. Ah. Um, no more other calibration turns are required as the aircraft is uh, flying any after every leg is flying a U turn and it's very good to recalibrate the IMU for the, for the heading. Okay, the flight time of this uh, LiDAR mission is 12 minutes. Technically, if you fly the LiDAR in an uh, altitude of 100 meters, the separation between the runs is 150 meters. So it's always factor 1.5. There's a kind of a rule due to the angles and the overlaps. And with this setup, 
you can fly 10 square kilometer in one hour. So it's roughly three by three kilometer square, for example. Manual is almost 2,000 pages long. Hmm. You read it, right? Uh, not entirely. You wrote it. <laughs> no. <laughs> the, the point there is it's a very, very sophisticated and powerful software that you may only use parts of. Okay. Each it's modularized, so. Okay. It's actually a drop down menu. Oh. Every time. Uh, okay, gotcha. Okay? So, you have a lot of possibilities. And I, I, I was just scratching the surface to classify this. So, just here, this is the result of the combination of the RGB that you saw uh, earlier. Right? Uh, it was. Uh, Martin that did that. Uh, it was just a basic draping of the author photo on um, on the point cloud. You can also do uh, ray tracing, which is basically taking each individual image and using the angle to color walls. Uh, if we look at um, I think this house uh, here, you can see on the wall on the side it's colored as if it was the roof, right? Yeah. If you use ray tracing, you'll use the edge of the, of the camera to colorize the point cloud. It's just a bit more time consuming, and I did it yeah. in the evening, and that It's just more computing much time, time and more hours. time. Here, that, that's, that's just like, what, you spent an hour and a half on t in total in doing, generating your auto, something like this, yeah. and draping it, and I spent another hour in classifying it. So that's what you can get in, the, say, a day. Morning, you do the flight, afternoon, you do the processing, and you're done. Um, I wanted to show you uh, the grouping. So what I use to count the trees here. Each color is a group and a tree. OK. And so now, each of, you have a group count then? Yeah. Yeah, 3,659. 3, Where's that at? Uh, maybe oh, yeah, it's just it's, Yeah, I have to pull it up, but uh, basically, when you just do the grouping, it tells you the number. Okay, so just keep it simple. Sweet, how's this for a backdrop? Hey, all I can say is wow, I got schooled today. So, some great information was given. I had a great time. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment below, ask any questions you can, I'll try to pass it on to the people that would know more than I would, but hey, definitely had a great time coming out here, seeing what Quantum Systems has to offer with their Tron and Trinity, definitely impressed with what's coming out in the future with what they showed today, so awesome things for the future, looking forward to it, looking forward to seeing everybody again real soon, but that's going to wrap it up for this video, thanks for watching, peace. It's really quiet. Not anymore.